Hey guys, what's up? It's Cameron here from Unexclusive Gaming, and today I'm bringing you a I'm bringing you another Minecraft mod tutorial, and this one is for Zom's mod pack for uh, Minecraft Beta 1.8. It just got released, and in Zom's mod pack, uh, we'll just take a look what you can do. You can do a bunch of stuff. It has like damage control. The main thing is flying. It has some chest stuff. You can do teleportation and weather and spawn creatures and stuff like that. And it's a little bit confusing, but I will help you through the process of installing it today. It just got released for beta 1.8, so it is compatible with that. Now, there's three things you're going to need. You're going to need WinRAR um, or 7-Zip, whichever one you prefer. You're going to need Zom's Mod Pack. Um, yeah, it's right there. You just click this download button, but I'll include a link in the description below. So go check the description because I'll have a link to WinRAR, um, Zom's Mod Pack, as well as you're going to need MC Patcher, which just um, patches and makes all the... You can have HD texture packs, basically. But you need that for some reason, so you have to install this. So I'll include links to all these down below. All right, so once you're on your main thing, you should have MC Patcher, and you should have Zom's Mod Pack on there. All right, so um, first thing that you're gonna want to do, you're gonna want to head, go ahead and install MC Patcher. So, if you go in, or I already have Minecraft Beta 1.8. I'll just show you real quick. Log in, and yeah, I'm running Minecraft Beta 1.8 not the pre-release. So you're gonna want to click on MC Patcher and run it, and then you're going to want to make sure that these two are checked, and click this one, and make sure that these are going to your Minecraft folder, which they already should be. And basically, you just hit patch, and it should run through, and it's now installed. So that's basically all you have to do for MC Patcher. It's super simple, um, nothing much to it, but you do need it for this mod. All right, so next, just right-click on Zob's Mod Pack and hit Extract All. This will just extract it to another folder on your desktop, and this one should be an open folder, so you can grab stuff out of it. <clears throat> next, you're going to want to go to your Start menu and click Percent App Data Percent and hit Enter. Then go to your .minecraft folder and go to your bin. Next, go to your Minecraft folder and hit open with and then go winrar or winrar um, or 7-zip. Um, I'm going to go into the Minecraft folder, not the Minecraft 1.8. I'm not sure if you guys have that, but I do. So I'm going to go to the Minecraft folder, not the Minecraft 1.8. So I open that up and then I go into the Zoms Mod Pack folder and grab, click on the Classes folder. Then I'm going to grab all these class folders that are in the Zoms Mod Pack thing and drag them into here and hit OK and they will install into there. And I'm done with that. So that was the uh, that was the class folder in the Zoms Mod Pack. Next, I'm going to go into my the uh, 1.8 folder. So open with WinRAR, and I'm going to delete this Meta INF folder right out of here. Um, so I tried to put this in Minecraft 1.8 the first time and just do it as that, but it didn't work. So if you do have Minecraft Beta 1.8 thing, just delete the Meta INF out of there and install the mod into the Minecraft folder. But some of you may just have the Minecraft folder, so then just go ahead and delete the Meta INF and install it into that folder. All right, so you're actually done with the bin folder, and you can just head back out. And I accidentally closed on Smart Pack, my bad. Um, so then I'm going to go into, or actually I'm just going to right click on here and create a new folder. So just right click and then go to new and then folder. And I'm going to name it mods, uh, no caps. So no, just all small letters. And then go into your mods folder. So just click on the folder and then right click again and make another folder called Zomb. Not Zombie, Zomb. <laughs> and then open that folder up. Next, go to the config folder that's um, with your Zoms mod pack thing and click click on it, and then grab all these tech documents and drag them into here. All right, um, so it should be installed. I'm just going to go in here. This is actually how you. I'll just tell you how to um, turn on the fly mod. So I'm going to go into the config folder. You can see there's a bunch of crap in here that I don't understand, but I do understand one thing, and that is how to uh, basically do the fly thing. So. If you're going to enable fly, it's automatically disabled, but right but to enable it you're going to need to go to find this thing right here that says fly mod AK flying. And you're going to need to go down to this little numeric thing right here that symbolizes the number and delete that out of there. And so now flying should be enabled and I'm going to set P to be turn fly on, K to be um turn it off and then F to fly up and Q to fly down. Okay. So exit and then just click save. All right, so now flying should it be enabled, um, but you can learn how to install or get all the other mods to work.
but I do know that some of them need mod loader and that's super simple to install all you do is grab all the folders and drag them into your minecraft folder so once mod loader um, comes out I'll make sure once minecraft mod loader comes out for 1.8 I'll make sure to throw a um, link to that in the description below so that you can also download that um, so I know the flying mod does not uh, you don't have to have mod loader so it works that's what I'm going to be showing you alright so I'm just going to create a new world because I just cleared my bin out before I did this tutorial and it's generating a world and it should be working All right. All right, so let me just change the graphics to fast because I. Okay, and now we're going to hit P. P, and now you can see that flying is on. It's actually up in the left hand corner by Minecraft Beta 1.8. If you look right here, it says flying. So then I'll hit. I have to change my controls real quick. Inventory needs to be high. All right, done. So now you can see that I am now flying. Whee! And then if I Q, I go down. So yeah, this is actually really cool. I'm glad that they came out with this mod. It has a lot of mods all built into one. So um, I just showed you basically the flying mod, but it did install all the other ones that it had listed on their website or on the Minecraft forums post or whatever. Um, but you might need mod loader for those. But my mod loader is super easy to install. All you do is grab all the files out of mod loader and drag them into your Minecraft jar folder. So that's super simple. But yeah, if you need to learn how to uh, in, um, get any of the other mods to work because they're all disabled by default, um, then then you can go to their uh, form post and you can click on the README or you can just go in here and click on this README folder and it will tell you, if you go to installation, it will tell you how to like install all of them. So just go to there. Just click on the README. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you. Um, so make sure to leave a thumbs up down below because it helps me out a lot as well as a comment if this worked for you or if you have any questions that I can help you with. Um, also, if you leave a favorite, that'd be great too. And make sure to subscribe if you're new to my videos because I'll be posting more mod tutorials. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. See ya.